क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन से इज विस्कस ड्रैग ऑन स्पेरिकल बॉडी इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ फर्स्ट साइज ऑफ द बॉडी सेकेंड वेलॉसिटी विद विच बॉडी मूव थर्ड विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ फ्लूड फोर्थ मटीरियल ऑफ द बॉडी डियर स्टूडेंट्स द विस्कस फोर्स एज पर द स्ट्रोक्स लॉ इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स पाईटा आर इन टू वी वे आर इज द रेडियस ऑफ द स्पेयर वी इज द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द बॉडी एंड ईटा इज द विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ द फ्लूड therefore the viscous drag depends on the size of the body depends on the velocity of the body it depends on the viscosity of the fluid as well however it is independent of the material of the body and therefore the correct answer for this question is option number 4 now dear students let us proceed to the next question which is question number 42 question number 42 is a question based on hydraulic lift it says that in a hydraulic lift as shown in figure mass of car is m is equal to 1000 kg Area of pistons A1 is equal to 20 cm square and A2 is 5 m square. The minimum force required to lift the car is Dear students, in this particular case, the car would lift if a force at least equal to the weight of the car F by A1 would be equal to the weight of the car divided by A2. That is F will be equal to mg into A1 by A2. Substituting the given values, we can write m to be equal to 1000, g to be equal to 10, a1 to be equal to 20 into 10 raised to power minus 4, and a2 to be equal to 5. On solving this expression, we get a value of f to be equal to 4 newton. Hence, option number 4 is the correct answer for this question. Now, let us proceed to the next question, that is question number 43. Question number forty-three says a uniform rod of mass m and length l is placed on a smooth horizontal surface. If a horizontal force capital F is applied at its one end, as shown in the figure, then the elongation produced in the rod will be. Y is the Young's modulus of material of the rod, and A is the cross-sectional area of the rod. Dear students, in this particular question, the acceleration of the rod will be equal to F by m. Dear students, let us try to find out tension. At a distance x from the other end, the tension would be equal to F into x by L. A small elongation dE in a dx length at a distance x from this end can be written to be equal to T into dx by a y, where a is the area and y is the Young's modulus. The net elongation can be written to be equal to integral of d. that will be integral of t dx by ay on substituting the value of t we can write down the integral of fx by l dx ay the limit would be from 0 till l on solving this expression we get e to be equal to f by l by a integral of x dx 0 to l this will be equal to f l by 2 y a and therefore dear students option number 4 of this question is the correct answer now let us proceed to the question number 44 question number 44 says if p q and r represent bulk modulus of elasticity for solid liquid and gas respectively then p is equal to q is equal to r p is less than q less than r p is greater than q greater than r or p is less than q equal to r dear students the bulk modulus of elasticity for solid is greater than that of liquid and of liquid is greater than that of gas which means that p will be greater than q and q will be greater than r which means that the correct answer for this theoretical question should be option number 3 dear students now let us proceed to question number 45 Question number forty-five says a cube having edge length six centimeter, a tangential force of twelve kilonewton applied at its upper surface displaces it by zero point two millimeter relative to the lower surface. The shear modulus of material of cube will be. Dear students, the shear modulus can be written to be equal to F L by A delta L, where F is the tangential force applied, A is the area, L is the length. and delta l is the amount by which a side gets displaced with respect to the other side here in this question f is given to be equal to 12 kN that is 12 into 10 to the power 3 newton delta l 
is given to be equal to 2 into 10 raised to power minus 4 meter. Area A is given to be equal to 36 into 10 raised to power minus 4 meter square which is equal to square of 6 centimeter. Now dear students, L is given to be equal to 6 into 10 raised to power minus 2 meter. On substituting all of these four values in this expression, we get eta to be equal to 12 into 10 raised to power 3 into 6 into 10 raised to power minus 2 divided by 36 into 10 raised to power minus 4 multiplied by 2 into 10 raised to power minus 4. This will be equal to 10 raised to power 9 newton per meter square. And hence, dear students, the correct answer for this question should be option number 2. Dear students, this concludes the discussion on the quick solutions of this test. I thank you all for watching this video and I wish you all the best. God bless you.